Hi, I'm Casey the G Free Foodie, and today I'm going to show you how to make the crunchy cashew sesame bars featured in Bon Appetit magazine entirely gluten free. You are going to love them. The first step to making these is toasting some cashews sesame seeds and flax seeds in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. You certainly could use nuts and seeds that are already toasted, but I think the freshness and the quick toast is, is really important. So these are gonna go into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. While the nuts and seeds are toasting, I'm gonna warm up some coconut oil on the stove and I'm gonna add half a cup of real maple syrup to it, and we're gonna cook that once it gets to a rolling boil for about one minute. You wanna keep stirring it and keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't scorch. Our nuts and seeds are out of the oven, and I'm gonna use St. Joni's food processor that I believe is as old as I am, and we're gonna get all this mixed together. So. I'm just gonna kind of push all this business over here. Without really spilling like a Jedi. And the recipe called for wheat bran. I'm using quinoa bran to make it gluten-free. A Little bit of salt. I like pink salt, y'all. The recipe calls for cardamom, and this is delicious. And once I started playing with this recipe, I decided to add a little bit of cinnamon, and I really think it kicks it up a notch. We're gonna give this a spin. Okay, that's the consistency that we're looking for little bit of nut particles, but pretty well blended together. Okay, we've got the ingredients already and now it's time to put it together. I've got the processed nut and seed meal and I'm gonna pour the coconut oil and maple syrup right over this. And give it a good stir, we want that all incorporated. It's going to look like it's a little bit dry. That's okay. Now I've got an eight by eight pan, which I put some pan spray in and I lined it with parchment paper. You want to make sure the sides, if they aren't covered with paper are totally sprayed. Then I'm going to pour the mixture in. Now, if your rings haven't already disappeared, this is the time this stuff is sticky. I'm going to spray my hands with a little bit of coconut oil and I'm going to push this down so it's completely flat. You really want it compacted and you want it even so your bars are even. Now I reserved a few of the sesame seeds and flax seeds and I'm just going to pour those over the top and press again. That way the tops are really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna give my hands a wash and then this is going into the oven for about 25 minutes at 350. All right, G-Free foodies. Our sesame cashew bars are out of the oven and cooled. It was almost impossible to leave them alone until they got to room temperature because they smell so good. These are so delicious. You're going to want to make them again and again. You can check out gfreefoodie.com for tons of recipes.